sometimes I print big models also. This one's by Moon Julie. Um, Harley Quinn. This was kind of a special project I did for a printing company. I'll show you how I print stuff like that sometimes. Modelers throw stuff like this at you. You're like, how am I going to print that? It can be done. But today we're looking at this model here. This was a request by the actual modeler. I asked him what he wanted me to print. And he said this one here. Um, I'm printing on PEI sheet day. Quite a bit of supports on this one. Uh, it's a one piece model. These days he cuts his models into two pieces. So. It's a little bit easier, but this was one of his first works. Definitely, uh, definitely a bunch of supports here. I was uh, talking in the Kira Facebook group, and uh, I mentioned that I use standard supports, which are the straight ones, and then also the tree supports. You see the tree supports will wrap around a model and capture stuff like the bottom of his bow necktie here. And, you know, the tree supports are definitely creative, you know. I mean, they, they capture stuff that otherwise would be somewhat difficult to do, whereas the uh, straight supports come up from the bed and grab a bunch of stuff. You can see here there's actually regular supports and tree supports. And the regular supports makes a nice cup for the head. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This was another model I just finished up this weekend too. And um, you could see a nice little cup for your model to sit in so it doesn't rock around and gives you a nice print. Don't have to touch the face with supports. All you really have to do on... Oh, model like this is concerned about your ears there, but, you know, they do uh, come out quite well. This was uh, an Ender 3 with the uh, new direct drive Sprite extruder. I did a little upgrade on one of my retro machines. Let's see if we can get these supports off. Relatively easy. I don't know what you guys have been working on. I'm kind of new to the Solval group. Um, <clears throat> I was talking to them about their printers for quite a while and um, decided to pick up this one. When they had their uh, first introductory sale on it. This is the Sovo SV01 Pro. Uh, to be honest with you, I really didn't like the bed that was on there. So I, I, uh, I got a metal bed. And they actually... Uh, make another metal bed which I used in some of my other videos <clears throat> I don't know what you guys think about that but that's what I did you can see the uh, ears are pretty well represented with supports here most of the times that I've had problems with prints like this is the ears because they do stick out of the head a little bit and I mean they're just kind of out there waiting for failure and takes a little bit of printing before it attaches itself back into the main model 
I know some of the little uh, miniature head sculptors, they actually they'll take the back of the ear and, and mold it right into the right into the head straight which is nice so I don't know this seems like it's uh, just about there pop off of that I used to have problems with the supports just like everybody else you can see it's quite a quite a quite a uh, complex support structure there. And now for the haters, what does it look like where the supports are? Oh, there's the back of his head. So we got to clean that up with a file. And the uh, back of the jacket, actually, that looks quite nice. That's going to be easy. Just drag a little file across there. So I see that's a success. I mean, that's, that's, that's a 90 degree, 90 degree cylinder print right there. So we could actually fix that up. It's not all that bad. If you wanted to, you can make probably four outer layers. This one is three. So it'll be a little thicker for you to work with. Just uh, take a diamond file and cut that in a little bit. I forget what this guy's name is. Ed, Ed Harris? Know, something like that. I guess I should have checked. Uh, doesn't say on my file here. Oh, yeah, Ed Harris. Okay. There you go. Ed Harris. What do you think? Pretty good? This one was done also this week. Uh, David Duchovny. I did that on another printer, but I'm currently printing the jacket for him. But I uh, wanted to do this one for Sid. There's his address there, sidnaquee.com. Take care. Happy printing. Let me get some shots for the people who doubt what I do. Some people want to analyze everything and tell me that my model is full of filler and primer. <laughs> They say a lot of stuff. The doubters, the haters, they're out there. Yeah. Can't make everybody happy all the time, can you? I was surprised this one came out pretty good for a retro machine. This is a single Z axis also. You know, you print slow, you know, you print slow. What's the hurry? Got to have a few machines to do it, but, you know, just, just slow down, people. Slow down. Figure out your model. I mean, you would hate to print this like this. Start off in the bed and then have your model fail at the nose. You know, how are you going to capture the ears off the bed, you know? It's better to print upside down and uh, work from that. Solval SV01 Pro. Take care. Happy printing.